I have added my measurements to uh, the drafting instructions right next to uh, what the instructions are going to be using for their measurements. So under arm's eye, I'm going to be adding my math formula. So half my bust is 38 divided by half is 19, and then uh, minus 1 inch is 18. So my arm's eye is 18 inches. And just so that I can spare the math, in addition to my me measurements, I'm also going to divide them all in half because in the instructions, a lot of times you have to do half your waist on division, half your bust on division. So I'm just going to add all the half sizes of my bust and my waist um, to this so that I don't have to figure out what half of 38 is when I'm in the swamp of this drafting. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first step of this is going to uh, lay out all the foundation measurements uh, on our drafting paper. So you say you have, uh, you should have uh, two feet and a width of brown paper because essentially what we, what we need is from the top of the neck uh, to the bottom of the waist. So, you know, unless your neck to waist measurement is more than 24 inches, uh, this piece should be fine. Um, so starting uh, at, the, at the top of the instructions, here we go. Um, so in the fitted bodice instructions, we have this lovely illustration on this side that, that you can reference uh, in order to follow the instructions. So we're first going to start off with A. So first we're going to establish A. A is a point on the upper right hand corner. And the instructions are, uh, A is the starting point square out and down. So you're going to be establishing your right angle. And you're going to label that corner A. Okay, so, so the first step, step one, is from one from A is three inches. So here is A and one is going to be three inches down. So you're going to be using the ruler on the with the nice numbers, not the crazy ass ruler, but the, the nice normal numbers. So from A, you're measuring down three inches and that's going to be one. Next is two from A. Two from A is uh, neck to waist front. So in my case, it's 16 and a half. And in the sample case, it's 16 and a quarter. So I'm measuring 16 and a half. For you, it might be a different measurement. So I'm just going to locate 16 and a half here and line that up with my A. Mark that here, and that's going to be two. Three from one is arm's eye on division. So here is one, right? You put a little circle there. And now we have to figure out what the measurement is one third arm's eye on division. So my arm's eye is 18 inch. So what I need to do is find. 18 inches on the one-third part of the divisional ruler. So flip your ruler to the crazy ass side and look for it until you can find your thirds. So the thirds is located here. Let's see if I can show you. So on the long arm of the ruler, the thirds are here. So I'm going to look for 18. That's my arm's eye. And I'm going to measure, take that point, and I'm going to measure from one, not from A, from one, that's where my zero is, and I'm going to locate 18 on the third divisions, that's right here, and that's going to be three. Welcome to the wonderful world of the divisional ruler. This was your first crazy measurement. We're going to square out from points 1, 2, and 3. 
So for this, you can use either side uh, because you're just using the right angle. Sorry. So I'm squaring out from one. So you're lining up your uh, edge against this edge, against the ruler line you drew, and you're going to square out. Try to be accurate. I mean, it's sixteenth of an inch isn't going to make a difference, but uh, it's good to just have all the lines lined up. And then two, squaring out here also. <laughs> Great. Moving on to point four. Again, we're going to be using the divisional ruler. Point four from three. So here's three, and four is going to be somewhere here. I'm going to mark that here. So four from three is somewhere on this line, and it's one half bust on division. So one half my bust is 22 and a quarter. I've already marked that. So I'm going to have to find on the division, uh, on the short end of the arm, is where you can find halves. So under the halves, I'm going to find 22 and a quarter. And I'm going to lay that on my three point, and I'm going to locate 22 and a quarter. And you're going to have to uh, look at these tiny little marks, like 22 and a half is here, so 22 and a quarter is here. So quarters are actually eighths inches because it's half of a half. So I'm going to mark that. That's four. So here's my point, my four, and I'm going to square down towards five. And my five is going to be here where it runs into uh, the center back line. Five falls at intersection of center back line two, and I'm going to label this point five. Six from five is one and a half. So here we have six, and we're going to measure one and a half from five, and that's going to be six. So here's four, and we can connect this. It doesn't matter what part of the ruler you use. Draw that line. There it is. Okay. Okay, so what's one half of our waist? One half of my waist is 19 inches. Here is one half waist. So here's two. Here's 19. So this is slightly different from 0.6 by like an eighth of an inch, but we don't even want to think about that. Uh, what we want to know is one half waist on division minus a half inch. So here's that little line, and then we're going to minus a half inch from that line. So that is here. Seven. And I'm going to erase all that swivel here. Eight from four is full arm's eye on eighth division. Oh, here we go. Okay, my full arm's eye is 18. So the full arm's eye, so you're going to go into your lovely ruler, and you're going to find your eighths. Here's your eighths. It's pretty far in. And you are going to look for your arm's eye measurement on H division. So for me, my arm's eye measurement is 18. So 8 from 4. Here's 4. 8 is going to be falling somewhere in here. And what did I say? My arm's eye is 18. So I'm going to go in here. Here's 18. 
so that is my eight. Nine is center between three and eight. So here's three and here's eight. What does that measure? For me, the center between three and eight equals eight and three quarters. So half of that, because it's the center, is four and three eighths. So one, two, three, four, and three eighths. So that's half. Half between eight and three. And that's number nine. Ten from two is the same distance as three from nine. So three from nine is four and three eighths. Ten from two is four and three eighths. That's ten. So remember when you took half of eight and three, that was nine. So now you're gonna take that same distance, three to nine, and you're gonna apply it down here, two to 10. That's the same distance. 11 from 10 is a half inch. So here's 10, we're gonna be measuring a half inch. That's 11. Twelve from eleven is one inch. Pretty straightforward. Thirteen from four is full arm's eye. My full arm's eye is eighteen. So we're going to look at our ruler, right? And we're going to look for eighth division. Eighth division is going to be on the the short end of the stick. So here's 8, 13 from 4, here's 4, 13 from 4 is full arm's eye on 8th division. So here is my line. Here's 8th division right here. And my arm's eye is 18, so 18 on each division is here. But I'm going to make it a very light line. So that's my light line. And then I'm going to be adding a half inch. Boop. And that is number 13. And I can erase that little temporary line. We're going to now extend one, and a, I'm going to scale up to the one line, and this spot right here, we're calling number 14. Fifteen is located by continuing the five to four line, five to four line, up to the shoulder height line, label point fifteen. So your five point is down here, your four is here, so you're going to extend this line up to the shoulder line, which is the second line, not the A, but the one line. And that's going to be 15. 16 from A. Here's A. 16 is going to be someplace here. Is 1 8 bust on division plus a half, eight, half inch. 
F bust is 22 and a quarter. So I have to find one, 22 and a quarter on the 1 8 area. So that's the short arm of the stick. You locate your 8 inch area and you place that 16 from A is 1 8 inch. So here's A. So I'm going to place my, my uh, ruler, the short arm here. <coughs> I'm locating my uh, half inch bust measurement, which is 22 and a quarter. Uh, here's 22. Uh, so if you run out, if you're in your eighths and you have 18, 20, 22, and your next number is 12, just keep going. So instead of 12, that would be 24. And instead of 13, that would be 26 on your eighth inch division. Yeah, you can just extrapolate that number. Okay. 22. And so a quarter would be like a 16th of an inch away from 22. So that's the mark. But the instructions say <coughs> plus a half inch. So I'm going to flip this around. And I'm going to add a half inch to this mark. There we go. 